Hello guys, who here, back with another video. This time around we are, uh, I'm kind of explaining or giving you a few tips on what you can do daily and also weekly, what you should be uh, at least completing every single week. There might be weeks where you don't have as much time to play or whatnot, but this is the video what I'm gonna tell you what you can do daily or you should do daily and you also should do weekly. So let's get started. So the first daily thing you should be doing every single day is your star bar. So of course your star bar up here, this is the star bar as we all know it and it's amazing uh, if you are of course trying to get things from the store but it's also amazing still if you have everything from the store, uh, all the things that you can buy like the dragon eggs and all that stuff because uh, you can still buy gym booster boxes and in some cases you can also go ahead and buy some Dragon coins. Dragon coins are not a nice deal. The 750 is not a great deal. But if you're missing like five coins to craft the dragon and you can get the dragon a little bit earlier, uh, of course you can just keep doing challenges and you'll get dragon coins through that. But if you're missing those five coins, it could be, you know, uh, a, a big boost to doing that. So it's not a great deal, but in some cases, like I said, but the gym booster boxes are definitely a very good choice. And I have spent a lot of lot of uh, cubits uh, on these uh, for, yeah, if you've seen, if you haven't seen it, I've made a lot of videos, a lot of videos, three videos, I think it's two, two or three videos where I like spend first like 100,000, 200,000 or some 400,000 or something like that of the cubits. So daily star bar, even if you are, done with buying everything else there is in the store for you know whatever it's still a good choice to go ahead and do that uh, that's uh that's tip number one you can call it to do your starboard every single day still all right so for tip number two is the hourly challenges so the hourly challenges shows up in we are 20 mastery and above it'll show up right over here make sure of course you have it enabled if you go to adventures on pc it is uh, the button i uh, i'm not sure what it is on like, basically you can see it right here um down here you can see my big face but it's this one right here down here it's it should be the same on consoles you can go to this one and you click that one uh, or you hit that one you are going to go in here if you go to the repeatable ones make sure this challenge thing is enabled of course if you're not seeing it as you can see you have 20 minutes to uh, do so and it's on the same on all the platforms so if it's coin collection on pc it is the same for all the other ones as well you know and, and same for consoles if it's you know it's not, it's not PC that's determined what it is. It's just the same on all the ones. And then you have 20 minutes to uh, complete it. If it's coin collection or if it's a zone one or something like that. They took out racing. If you're a very old player, they had a racing one as well. They took that out uh, way uh, long ago, actually. And now they only have the coin collection or they have the rampages. The rampages, of course, is also very nice if you're still grinding for those dragons for them. But also just for the daily dragon the five dragon coins that's what we're talking about and if you get even more daily dragon coins uh when you do it on a friday of course so very much more important to do on a uh, friday so yeah the outlet challenges you can put a timer on your phone or go watch some streams because even you're watching somebody playing on console you can still see them whatever challenge they have got going on uh, maybe they've already done it uh, when you drop by, but you can always log in real quick and see what the challenge is if you're playing some other game and something like that. So yeah, just wanted to mention that it's the same on all the platforms because if you're watching somebody cons, it's like, oh no, is it the same? Yeah, it is. So something that's pretty cool, even if you don't, uh, if you already have all dragons, like I have all dragons, dragon coins, it becomes... A little bit less necessary. Uh, I'd still do them if I'm just playing or if I hit the hourly challenge or something like that, then I'll go ahead and, and do it. If it's like coin collection, for example, that's that's a very easy one. The zone ones can be a little tedious, but you just have to hit the first to get the five dragon coins extra. Of course, you go all the way, you get even more, but you know, the first one is at least for the daily at least. So yeah, that was the good tip number two for what you can do your uh, daily routine, you can call it, and we can move on from this one. All right, so tip number three for doing something daily is of course the five star dungeons that are in U8, Geo top side, nine and 10. Those are some five star dungeons, you probably already know about them, there's nothing new about that. But if you didn't know, 
there is actually, uh, depending on how fast you do them, there is a gold time, there is a silver time, and there's a bronze time. And that means that if you do it in a really, you actually get a good amount of time. It's it's very from what dungeon you do and stuff like that. So it's a very good idea to team up with somebody else and you can do it pretty quick and get those done. And then you can go off being solo after you've done the first three. Because if you go uh, and do a, a five star dungeon, the first time you do it in a good time, you'll get yourself a gold reward. And the gold reward is, that is eight crystalline cores you just get for free free just eight crystalline cores then you can get two silver rewards uh you will get though even if you do it in a gold time it'll still just give you the silver rewards because you already got the golden one and then two silver rewards will give you three crystalline cores each and then of course after that you got the bronze rewards and the bronze rewards are going to give you those little caches if you do enough of them and those you can keep uh, farming uh, endlessly but if you do three uh, five star dungeons in a good time you'll get those extra crystalline cores and in the end because you can do this daily it ends up being a lot of crystalline cores you can actually farm just getting just doing that uh any days and if you're doing like i told you in the first one doing your star bar doing those three you are almost like maybe halfway through your star bar anyway and mix in a few extra maybe five stars if you want to do that or just some one stars out there maybe some three stars if you're into that and you'll get yourself the star bar done and you also get yourself these uh, gold rewards, silver rewards, and then you can get how many of a bronze rewards you want. But those only can, like a common uh, drop from that is one, but you can also get five from that sometimes, but that's kind of a rare drop and so on. But doing those uh, three five star dungeons every single day is gonna boost your crystalline cores tremendously over time, just getting those eight, three, three all day every day so that's tip number three or something you should do every single day because crystalline cores are so needed for all your crystal four gear and even crystal five gears uh in the future as well it's only going to go up the cost of crystalline cores so uh, right now at a thousand crystalline cores to upgrade a crystal four item all the way to the like to the max right and i'm pretty sure it's going to be bumped up to two thousand crystalline cores per item when we hit that it, it's not nothing I know right now, but they're definitely going to be an even bigger part of the game as soon as we maybe get crystal, crystal uh, 5 gear, that's what I mean. So, that was just another daily uh, tip you can do every single day. We can now move on to some weekly ones. Alright, so we got the first weekly tip, and the first weekly tip is the classes. And I can't emphasize this enough, that the... Classes contest is absolutely amazing. Like this week we got uh, Ice Age, Dino Tamer and Chloromancer. It switches up every single week. And to get points on this, I've talked about this a lot of times, you get these points by you know doing different things in Trove, like challenges, uh, actually also bombing or mining, uh, what's it called, the blocks, and also when you defeat dungeons. And that's the main thing that I do, is just do my dungeons on these specific classes. Keep in mind that this, you can only earn points on uh, for these different contests on classes that are unlocked. So trial classes cannot earn points doing this. And what I usually do is that I get up to a score 125 because that is something that people cannot take away from you. Uh, up here, the rank means that you are competing against other people. So if you think, oh, I want to get all these 65 shadow pinatas, well, you got to be top 10. But I usually just go around and get enough for the score because score means that this is something you're just going to get. So that is some bound brilliance and bound brilliance is, well, not even the and power gem boxes are amazing, you know, if you're missing those. But the Bound Brilliance is an end game uh, currency where you, that's what you use to, you know, boost uh, your gems up. So this is absolutely amazing. And seven is not a lot. So it'd be like, oh, I'm just going to do it once, uh, you know, and then I got enough. You're going to have a plenty of these. And getting a score of 125 is not hard at all. I did it yesterday. I was streaming yesterday and I got two classes. I didn't want to do the last class. I was doing this in two hours and that was also farming something else though, doing like the event stuff that was going on the Halloween and stuff like that. So it takes no time at all to get to here because it is actually the same uh, points you get from uh, being like, let's say you won to your nine. It doesn't matter. It's just, it matters if you're doing like a one-star dungeon or a, 
a three star dungeon or a five star dungeon. Of course, the five star dungeon is not going to give you points. It's the three star dungeons in the five star dungeon that is going to give you the points. So there's a difference between that. So of course you get more points for the three star dungeons than you do for the one star dungeon. So just mentioning that, that of course it's more intense. So if you could just do three star dungeons all the way, just do, 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 you would get a lot of points that's what we used to do when we had shadow towers was a thing and stuff like that you of course also get points from delves um i wouldn't say amazing points but it is where you also get points i feel like the best way is just to grind dungeons and just think about other things and then check in on this sometimes and make sure you get the score of 125 but because then you're guaranteed to get the four in power gem box and the seven brown brilliance and of course you can go for more if you want to do so like the dark Chaos Vaults are also great. Also, the Shadow Pinatas. 65 is amazing. You can sell these on the marketplace if you want to do, or just throw them if that's what you care for. But you do have to be ranked 10. And you just, I'm, I'm, I'm recording this on a Monday, and people are for the Chloromans already scored 2,000 for this one. And it's only, you know, you can see, you can also see when it ends in seven days. So this is only going to go up. This is only going to go even crazier. So you really have to be. Like even this is crazy right now on, you know, was it like six hours, seven hours since reset? So yeah, it, it, it requires something. So I would at least just get this if you want to do so. Um, if you get more than that, awesome. But yeah, yeah. So anyways, I just wanted to mention the uh, class contest. This is a weekly thing, of course. It resets every week, so it's nothing to do with a daily thing. So I just wanted to mention just doing uh, these here uh, class contests. They are very, very important. So that's why it's so amazing to unlock classes because then you can actually earn points to do these. And maybe if these are in rotation, you know, maybe these are the three classes you are going to level this week and so on and so on. That's at least a good tip for one of the weekly ones. So enough explaining about the, the class contents. Let's move on to another weekly. All right, so we're moving on to, like I said, another weekly contest and another weekly contest is not in there. It is still in the, uh, in the leaderboards. That's what we're talking about. And we're talking about the contest. I was just all over the place, right? But the, uh, Class con the other we just talked about the class contest about these right but I also want to talk about the other contest as well the experience one is not super important it you know this one is amazing nine lives is absolutely amazing uh, and it just takes you ten thousand experience see again it says score so it doesn't matter you're not competing against all these people that are up here these the experience doesn't matter at all um, it just matters that you hit at least two and a half million experience. And it's not that hard to get. I got that in yesterday's, like I talked about the other, uh, I could call it step, or the other segment, I can call it. Uh, I did two hours of streaming and I got to two and a half million. I did also use an XP potion, but it was on um, a Sunday. And that would even be more if you're doing it on a Saturday, of course, it will double that even more. Uh, also, if it's XP week, you know, it's even more in that experience. So you can you can get it done very, very quickly to get to two and a half million. If you're running your 10 as I was for a couple hours, then you will get rid of this. And these leaderboard reward chests are pretty awesome as well. They seem to be, well, I'm seem to me, I'm pretty unlucky getting something amazing, but you know, it's experience and you know, just gonna go ahead and do those as well. Then we got some other contests as well. There's of course the mastery points that's not what I'm gonna talk about. Then we got the different challenges for the delves and I'm not a big delve person, so this is up to you if you want to do, but then we got the two in rotation. This week, it is the weekly world boss kills. And as I talked about, about before, um, if you uh, do the score thing, uh, you are almost guaranteed to do if you kill uh, 50 and it's sometimes changes it's sometimes eggs sometimes it's boxes and so on and so on and so on but if you at least uh, do 50 that's like my experience is that if you at least kill 50 uh, world bosses you know world bosses that is uh those mini bosses you have around the dungeon sometimes it's just uh, you know Sometimes they're in the dungeon, sometimes they're outside, sometimes they're around. It's the little larger monsters that take a little bit longer to defeat, basically. And with my experience, like I said, if you do the 50, you are also guaranteed almost to get the uh, rank 5000. Because usually, um, 
there's not everybody gets to kill that many. Uh, it's more of these up here, the party animals, the 250, that's what people go for. These are just the upgrade ones, but if you're upgrading gems, or it's also great to have a, a good stack of these just lying around because you never know when there's a new class that's coming out and you just you know want to get these because these are only, you can only get these uh, from uh, the leaderboard thing or from the gym booster boxes as well these can also be there so it's a good idea to just stack up on these and you know they just are in your inventory so they just lie in there forever if you're not going to use them and the other one is of course the weekly dungeons it's the same thing 100 dungeons is super easy to get you can see like i said this is about uh seven hours eight hours from uh reset and people are already 850 15 so yeah we don't know when they of course started this but 850 dungeons is pretty nice to get already after that so getting 100 dungeons in is not that it doesn't matter which dungeon it is it's just all dungeons so you can, you can run the lowest if you want to do so this so this helps everybody and again you have to get ranked to 25,000 to uh, miss out on this one so it's pretty simple it's pretty easy it's it's actually quite nice i don't even think i can hit this one no um i have a mod that can tell me if i'm missing the rank and there is no people under two twenty five thousand at the moment uh i can hit this one you can see it takes right now uh of course you have to get the score as well you do have to get the score to before getting to the next one if you want to get right now if let's say the <laughs> content ended now you just have to get 140 about 140 dungeons in and then you would get all these rewards of course this is gonna rise really quickly and get to like stupid numbers but because people are just doing dungeons some people don't even care about all this they do just doing dungeons because they're doing dungeons but these are amazing the last two contest is as you know deepest public delve right that's the deepest public delve with the lunar lancer and then the, uh, all the same thing for the and guardian so there's also some wards in here but they're more focused around delve and stuff like that if you are into all of that but yeah it's not gonna be uh it's gonna be a little maybe harder to get to whatever this is so anyways i just wanted to mention the other uh, challenges you should do daily uh, or sorry weekly as well get those in uh these ones because they're quite can be quite rewarding and pretty easy to complete as well so let's move on to the next weekly thing all right, the next weekly segment is our tomes and the tomes you can of course put as favorite as I've done here. Uh, you can go over them. Uh, I set them as favorite because there is, if I show all, for example, there is a few, uh, let's see, I've actually favored most of them. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, mo most of them, but I've taken out, for example, Delve Keys because I have so many Delve Keys. I've also taken out the Fish Lore because that's not what I'm gonna use. So basically, I actually have using like all of them i'm using like mo i'm getting trying to get most of them also i have this so when i do complete all of these uh, i do i can go on to the cinnabar and just get some cinnabar in there uh for the rest if that's what i want but uh not all of these are i've just favored most of them because i play so much trove that these are uh, these rewards are better than no reward <laughs> not, not saying cinnabar is no reward but these rewards are just better overall so might as well get this done than other ones as well so you should go through your tomes and make sure that you uh favorite all the ones you want to do and least want to get done and why you want to get them done there might be some you don't want to do maybe you don't want any more eyes or you don't want any tentacles so of course take that one out if you want to do so so this makes it a lot easier for me to to uh, or for i think like for anyone to see what is actually going on uh with the um you know the tomes and whatnot so if people want to get that in that's another weekly tip to make sure to get your tomes done as well and get many tomes because it frees up whatever you're doing for example there's a lot of delve tomes as well or do do cave ones where you can just you know almost get all the different things and also you can if you get some of these uh, other ones from, you know, here you can unlock the uh, Vanguardian pretty easily, you know, without actually farming for it and so on and so on. So, yeah, I just love tomes and that's how I wanted to mention to make sure you do those weekly as well. So, not a big segment, but let's move on to the next one. All right, for this next segment, I want to talk about the two different looks we got. We got a dark one and we got a golden one. And the dark one, 
uh, never changes the inventory. The inventory is always the same. And then Luxion always changes, alternate. They alternate from being there every other Friday. They are there for the whole weekend. So it's like from Friday to Monday, whenever that reset is for you. So from reset Friday to reset, reset Monday. So before it resets to Monday, it's there for the weekend. So again, it alternates from Dark Luxion to Golden Luxion. And Dark Luxion is always, like I said, the same, but the Luxion... The other Luxion, Gold Luxion uh, inventory changes every single time. It brings amazing things every single time. That's why I talked about Dragon Coins earlier as well, to farm them still, even if you don't need dragons. It's good things to buy something from uh, Gold Luxion and maybe put it on the marketplace and make some, some nice flux there. If you can, that is not always the chance because sometimes, you know, it just get overflowed uh, with items from Luxion. But anyways, the point is that I put it on the Discord every single week, so you go ahead and see that. Uh, if you want to follow the Discord, it's in the description, of course, and you can just go ahead and I post it uh, every single week, sometimes a little bit late, but I post them. But uh, yeah, like I said, it goes alternate every single week. So it's going to be Dark Luxion, Gold Luxion, Dark Luxion, Gold Luxion, so on, so on, so on. So it's definitely worth uh, checking out every single week. Uh, I check it out every single week, make sure that I have anything. I, I can see if I have something, some of it is uh, darkened out. If, for example, for Golden Duction, some of the items there, but I always check up on, do I have that item or do I need that item? And, and usually I don't need anything, but it's better to not miss out on anything and just you know check it out every single time. And I was, like I said, I posted on Discord, you can just keep an eye out for that and people can go ahead and go in, but you just know need to know that it's every other week and it alternates from dark luxion to a golden luxion as well. So uh, that was the uh, this segment about luxion, and let's move into another segment of really weekly doings. All right, so now we got another segment, and that is of course uh, the weekly delves. The weekly delves is super amazing and you should do them still even if you are missing, you know, not missing, sorry. If you're not missing Lunar Souls or Titan Souls, you feel like, no, you shouldn't use them. Lunar Souls are always valuable because you can get uh, Empowered Gem Boxes and Empowered Gem Boxes, of course, contain Empowered Gems. And empowered Gems can be uh, loot collected into dust and dust is super amazing for upgrading other classes. So even though you have like full all the... Empowered gem boxes uh, and gem empowered gems you have, then you can still turn it into even more dust. And also, there's some dragon, you know, diamond dragon eggs you can also have a chance to get as well. So make sure you grind those weekly delves as you always do because it's amazing for loot and also the titan souls even if you bought everything from the titan souls you can still turn them into titan treasures even though they're not super amazing you know titan souls are not really used for anything else after that there's a few things here and there but mostly it is just for titan treasures and even though you you're gonna get the lowest roll which is a 1500 flux it's still 1500 flux right and it goes a little up to 5000 as well all right so this was the last tip I had for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It was just a few things on top of my head that I wanted to mention for you guys. I know this video became quite long, but that's why I made the timestamps. You can jump around in the video. Just something you want to know. Maybe you don't favor the, uh, you know, the tomes and whatnot. It's all up to you, but I wanted to put you guys through all of the tips that I had. I hope you guys found it useful. If you did, make sure you like and subscribe. It helps me out very much and is super much appreciated always. You guys want to take the time to do so. Anyways, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye!